Hey everybody, so this guy is a little model called Tiny Stories that I thought would be really cool to show off. And then so before we dive into Tiny Stories itself, let's go into uh, why it's built and how it's built. So Tiny Stories comes from the research paper, uh, How Small Can Language Models Be and Still Speak Coherent English. And the bottom line of this research paper is that they wanted to start testing like below 10 million parameter models. Uh, very specifically and then see like how low they can get it like what's the absolute lowest cutoff before uh, you can't get the model to produce like coherent English essentially uh, and then so uh, what we're uh, looking at here is uh, tiny stories the model itself and this is a 1 million parameter model so this is the lowest that they've been able to get it so far this is the model card and then I'm just running it uh, using it in transformers very specifically in a Google Colab notebook. Uh, and then very specifically with this Colab notebook, first off, I forgot to enable uh, off the bat, uh, well, as I often do, and I'm sure most people often do, uh, the GPU. And then so I didn't need it. Uh, it, it, like, the ma it maxed out at 1.5 gigs of system RAM. So uh, literally you could run this on a cell phone, no problem, currently right now. Uh, the total install was 26 gigs, which I'm sure most of that was the pip install for transformers. You can see it's just two commands, pip install for transformers. And then I also have uh, importing the model. Importing the model and the prompt that I put into it uh, took 15 seconds total uh, to generate. Uh, and then the text isn't, isn't great, but it generates uh, English. So uh, the prompt that I gave it is, oh no, the sky is falling to the chicken. And then uh, the response back that we get is, oh no, the sky is falling to the chicken. I'm sorry, little girl. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. A bunch of I'm sorry. It's like, I forgive you, mom. I love you, mom. Uh, it goes on. And you think it's going to end, right? Like, you, you think it's just repeating itself. Like, I love you, mom. That's all it's going to say. We keep going, keep going, and then keep going. Uh, it's just, you know, on repeat here, and then it finally changed. You know, I, I love you too, Mom. I love you too, Mom. And then I repeat that for a while. I love you too. I love you, Daddy, and you, Daddy. Uh, and then that's kind of how it ends. Uh, and then so, since it's short to generate, let's try another one. Let's uh, like try to make it happy. <laughs> it seems kind of that it uh, only generated sad text there. Let's say, I'm having a happy day. Let's see what happens. We run this, and then I'm assuming about 15 seconds or less. There we go. Lily felt sorry for Max, she said. I'm sorry, Max. I was just playing with you. I'm, oh, here we go. I'm having a happy day, Lily. I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs> Lily felt sorry for Max. She said, I'm sorry, Max. I was just playing with you. I was just playing with you. I'm sorry, Lily. I was just playing with you. I'm sorry, Max. I was just playing with you. And then, uh, I'm sorry. This, this bot is very um, masochistic. It seems to be, no matter what you do, you are kind, you are kind. But you can see it's generating text, it's generating output. This is one million parameters, so it'll be interesting to see if we can go lower. This is the lowest uh, parameter model that I've been able to find. I can't find anything that, that gets into the thousands, but that would be uh, like hundreds of thousands, uh, but that would be cool to see and to run. Uh, as you can see, again, you can run this on anything. It's it's the RAM is not maxing out on at anything that uh, my cell phone could handle this no problem. <laughs> uh, I think like the iPhone one could handle this no problem. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool that you can get down to this level. Does it have any like real practical use? No, but I, like there's a lot of research value in knowing like how the the very bottom floor of what you can do uh, with this and then so from going from the floor then you can work up more and then uh, improve efficiencies on like models and devices and individual devices and that's kind of where like a lot of this research goes and, and i think it's interesting research and it's interesting to play around with these models overall uh, if you like this type of content please like and subscribe thank you very much